Hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, let me know if you have questions on yesterday's lesson. I want to make sure you're doing fine. Um, today we're back with factoring x method day two. Now we have a positive constant term and a leading coefficient is one, but this does not mean that all of the terms are positive like yesterday. So on that magic number day that we did, you guys had to list out some positive and negatives. That's what this one's coming from. Okay, so let's get started. This is just a reminder from that day, um, magic number day. So to multiply, to have a positive number, both factors have to have the same sign. So that does not mean that they both have to be um, positive, but they could also both be negative, but they have to have that same sign. So two plus plus or two minus minus. Okay, so here we're doing that magic X again. I'm gonna start. It's still the same scenario. Multiplies to give me 15 adds to give me negative eight. So we're looking for multiplying to 15, adding to negative eight. We know that what it's multiplying to is a positive number, right? And we know what it's adding to is negative. So you guys can rule out all of the positive versions. So we have one and 15 and three and five for the positive. For the negative, it'd be negative one negative 15, negative 3, negative 5. Notice how they're the same factors, but one parent set is negative, one set's positive. Since this is negative, these can't ever add up to be a negative number. You'd have 16 and you'd have 8, both positive. But down here, you'd have negative 16 and negative 8. So the one that we're going to need is that negative 3, negative 5. So just like yesterday, it's going to have that same setup. But instead of a plus sign now, it's going to be whatever sign is on these uh, numbers. So we have negative 3 times negative 5. Let's try this one out. So here we have molts, adds. So you can think about that in alphabetical order. A comes before M. Um, we can think of it as A Morgan too because that way we could have somebody in our class that helps us remember what order they go in. So here we have times addition adds to give me negative 9. Multiplies to give me 18. Again, this is positive. And since that's positive, it means that you can't have two positive numbers that are going to add up to a negative. So you know you're going to use the two negatives. But as it goes, I'll still show them 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6. Okay, so that would give me negative 1 times negative 18, negative 2 times negative 9, negative 3 times negative 6. The only one of these that add to the negative number that we need is the third one. We see here this would be negative 19, this would be negative 11, and that would be negative 9. So this would have to be negative 3. This would have to be negative 6. x minus 3. x minus 6. Again, I can just show you guys how this works with this one. I'll double distribute it out. So you end up with x squared minus 6x minus 3x plus 18. Combine like terms in the middle. You know I was going to run out of space. I can't help it. I'm actually going to go this way because I started drawing that arrow, but I remember there's supposed to be like a symbol there and I can't see it. So x squared minus 9x plus 18, which you see is what we originally started with. So this is our answer. You can always use that double distributive property to verify your result. Okay, magic x. I'm going to go ahead and draw them in for both of ours. Multiplies, adds, multiplies adds. So remember molt adds. So what multiplies to give me 20 adds to give me negative 9. Again, that negative tells you both of these are going to have to be negative, but I'll show you all the factors anyway. So 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 3 doesn't go into it, 4 goes into it, 4 and 5. Next thing would be 5, so we've already made it around. But we know none of those are going to give me a negative 9. That's 21, 12, 9. What we need is the negative version. So negative 1, negative 20, negative 2, negative 10, negative 4, negative 5. So negative 21, negative 12, negative 9. 
So the one that we need is that last one, negative 4, negative 5. And you can rewrite this as x minus 4 times x minus 5. You can double distribute out to verify your answer, but we know it's correct. And then over here, I'm going to list these above. Adds. So adds to give me negative 29. Multiplies to give me 100. I'm going to do the factors up here. So 1 and 100. 2 and 50. 3 doesn't go into it. 4 and 25. 5 and 20. 6 doesn't go into it. 7 doesn't go into it. 8 doesn't go into it. 9, so we're going to go to 10 and 10. Okay, again, all of those are positive. They're not going to be one of those answers, but listing my positive allows me to go through and do the negatives. Negative 1 and negative 100. Negative 2 and negative 50. Negative 4 and negative 25. Negative 5 and negative 20. Negative 10 and negative 10. If you add these up, the only one that can add to negative 29 is right here. Negative 4 plus negative 25 equals negative 29. So x minus 4, x minus 25. Okay, again, these are our last examples because we're trying to keep this short for you guys. Um, I can give you guys more resources should you want them. Uh, so here, same idea, magic x multiplies on top, adds go on bottom. It's really not that picky if you guys flip those. So what multiplies to give me my 28, as long as you have the numbers that are actually supposed to be it, adds to this one, so multiplies to 28, adds to negative 90, 29. So factors of 28, we have 1 and 28, 2 and 14, 3 does not go into it, 4 does, 7, and then 5 won't, and then we see 6 won't as well. So we're going to see here that these are all positive. They cannot add up to a negative number, so you have to do the negative ones. Negative 1, negative 28, negative 2, negative 14, negative 4, negative 7. This gives me a negative 11, negative 16, negative 29. So the ones I'm interested in is negative 1, negative 28, x minus 1, x minus 28, And that's our answer. And the last example, oh, you guys made it. Okay, so this is what multiplies to give me 1. Adds to give me negative 2. Things that multiply to give me 1 are 1 times 1. Or negative 1 times negative 1. The only one that adds to give me negative 2 is the two negatives. So it's negative 1, negative 1. So you see your answer x minus 1, x minus 1. Okay, again... Um, let me know if you have questions. I really want to make sure you guys are doing okay. Uh, miss you.